one of the biggest challenges to sending that information you've been collecting inside of that SharePoint list is how do you get the data to actually come out of the SharePoint list and publish it inside of an email. And today we're going to talk about this topic, but we're really going to focus on the order by and the top count for kind of massaging and bringing that information into a format that you really want to see. So stay tuned. We'll jump right to it. So this is a pretty simple flow and we're not going to go into the details. There's a longer video on my channel about how to schedule um, a SharePoint, how to, how to upload SharePoint information on a weekly basis inside of an email message and see that longer video. But today I'm just going to focus on a couple key items. This video is assuming that you understand how to set up a power flow. This is a reoccurrence. It's occurring once a week. And then you just select your SharePoint uh, site and the name of the list that you're working on. But this is one of the key things that might take you a while to figure out. I know I had to do a little bit of searching. Is the filter query and the order by. We're not going to go into filter query today, but the order by. I wanted to explain in a little more detail. So meeting date is a name of a column inside of the SharePoint list. And I'm going to show you that in just a moment and reinforce that. And then descending, basically D-E-S-C, that space D-E-S-C, allows me to look at the information, flip it, right? You have ascending and descending. So descending means that, for example, on the meeting date, I'm getting my most current meeting date at the very top of the list and my oldest date at the bottom and ascending would have my oldest date at the top and my newest date at the bottom, which is kind of a hassle because you got to scroll through everything. So that's why I put that in there. Meeting date, DESC. Top count, 10. The default for a get items inside a flow, to my understanding, is 100. Now those change over the course of time, but I only want the last 10 meetings. And so I, I limit it to 10. Now let's take a look at that HTML table. So the HTML table itself. So anyways, that's that's how you do that. That's how you capture that data. The HTML table itself, you just add the information. So if you just click here and go down to the dynamic content, you can see that. But I wanted to show you this just because of the meeting date, the meeting date. And again, you can see this video. There's another video out on this channel on send your SharePoint list um, in a scheduled uh, schedule via email. And that's what this is talking about. This is more of a short version of it. The HTML code, I'm going to pause there. I got this off of the internet. I can't remember who I should credit this to, but whoever it is, thank you. This is a standard HTML code using a compose. And then the email itself, as you notice there, you just enter in the email addresses, put in what you want as far as the information, and then you're gonna put the outputs in here. That's the compose, and that is the HTML table, the compose and the HTML table. You're just linking them there, and this is just kind of an introduction. And then here for the last one, just format that date. I just wanna know the date that this report comes out, and that there is the expression that you'll wanna use there. And that is as simple as it is. Uh, I know that was a fast version of a longer video. So view the longer video if you want more details. But those are the key things that you need to do to make this thing work.